Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I wanted to film a little spend the day with me. I've been thinking about doing like a day in my life, but to be honest, my life is just a little bit crazy right now. I'm trying to figure out our routine and a good rhythm. So instead, uh, we're doing a few errands today. I figured, <laughs> I figured I'd bring you guys along. Archie's watching Lion King and he's very animated about it. Um, but yeah. Uh, come and spend the day with me. I have to start off by cleaning up breakfast, which is no fun. So let me just go ahead and get this done and out of the way. Okay, so I finally finished cleaning up upstairs. It takes me at least three times as long to get anything done anymore because uh, whenever I step away for a second, the baby starts to cry or you know she needs her pacifier or Archie wants a cookie needs a toy wants me to change the TV needs to use the potty yeah it's just always a mission but anyway I'm gonna get dressed and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm currently working to dress my postpartum body um, I'm five weeks postpartum as of yesterday and yeah my body's continuing to change on a weekly basis so i'm trying to make do with the clothes that i already have and nothing quite fits right and i don't really know what size i am anymore so it's kind of annoying anytime i have to get dressed um because i'm like i have all this clothes and none of it really quite works so i'm gonna show you guys kind of <laughs> the process of getting myself dressed and ready for the day and I also need to make the bed, so. All right. Here's my closet. I don't know why it looks pink in here. <laughs> but I have lots of clothes. Uh, it's just that none of it really quite fits right now. So let me figure out what I want to wear. It's hot every day in Puerto Rico, but we're going to get some groceries at Sam's Club, so it's really cold in there. I definitely want to layer something, which is perfect because that's kind of like my uniform anyway right now. is like some sort of like oversized cardigan, not really a cardigan, more like a like oversized flannel or button-up shirt because it's easy to nurse in. I'll just wear like a nursing bra or a tank underneath and... Um, I can just unbutton it and nurse whenever I need to. So that's like my uniform lately is what I joke around and say. But I think this is what I'm going to wear. So I wore these bodysuits to death while I was pregnant. And postpartum, I don't love the way my mid area looks. But when I have a button up or button down shirt, I can tie it around my waist. Or um, I can tie it around my waist or put it on and it kind of helps camouflage some of those like less flattering areas of my body right now. Okay, so I have a few flannels to pair with it. I could do this one, I could do this one, or this one. Let's try it out. Okay, so I went with this flannel. I did this little necklace stack. My favorite jewelry right now is my uh, birthday slash push present. This little heart with a little S in it for Scotty. And then I got this ring stack. I shared this, I think, I think on Instagram actually. It's by this jewelry brand called Made by Mary. And then I have the matching little heart with an S for Scotty that matches the necklace. So that's what I did for jewelry, my watch, and then these little gold bracelets and then studs. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I wear this. You can kind of see in the mirror back here. Okay guys, so here's like a look at the sort of full outfit. So this is kind of what I like to wear right now. It's just like an oversized button up shirt with like some biker biker shorts or shorts of some sort and a tank top underneath and then I roll the sleeves up if it's too hot but what I do also if it's just too hot which also helps kind of camouflage this area for right now 
and this is you know five weeks postpartum here so I'm in no rush about anything but you see how it kind of helps just like ex like cinch in your waist a little bit whenever I get too hot I'll just take this sweater off and tie it around my waist and then I've got it paired with these little sandals I picked these up from Walmart this weekend actually I think they're super cute $13 at Walmart <laughs> but yeah here is the outfit we're gonna be heading out to Sam's Club which is like Costco here soon pick up a few groceries and then I'll do a little grocery haul when we get back home if I have time hopefully I'll have the opportunity to do that <laughs> all right we made it to Sam's Club We made it. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. $350 later. I'll give you guys a little grocery haul when we get back to the house. Okay, we made it back from the store. I'm gonna show you guys quickly a little grocery, not little, this is a lot of stuff. Grocery haul, because I gotta start putting everything away in the freezer and stuff and the refrigerator before it goes bad or melts. Not goes bad, but before it melts, because it's really hot here. So, real quick, everything is in bulk. Obviously, this is like a Costco, so everything you get is in bulk. Um, and, it's just good to just stock up on things for us because it's hard to get out and about as often with kids. So, um, we got these applesauce pouches for Archie. This is his favorite like dessert and snack. We got these um, biscuits that he loves to snack on as well. He loves the cinnamon brown sugar version. 
a bag of chips, a bag of this sweet and salty kettle corn popcorn. It's so yummy. And then I randomly decided to get these potato sticks. I like to put this on like hot dogs or hamburgers just as like a little like topper. It's like yummy and crunchy. I used to eat them all the time when I was little. Honey in bulk um, and some cutie oranges as well. And then the rest of the stuff is like all stuff that gets in the refrigerator. So for tonight, because it's kind of already a little bit late and I haven't had a chance to defrost anything, I'm gonna make this like ready-made dinner. This is chili. So you just gotta pop this in the oven and I'm gonna make chili dogs. So we have hot dogs and I bought some buns and we're gonna do chili dogs. I got some mozzarella. Eggs are so expensive. Comment in the um, comments below how much eggs are where you live. For us, 12 eggs, like a regular one dozen eggs at the grocery store will cost $6 and like 50 cents roughly. This 18 pack at Sam's Club is $6, 50 cents. So you get 18 eggs for the same price that you would at the grocery store, 12, and we got two packs of those because we go through eggs pretty quickly around here. Butter, get it in bulk so I don't have to worry about picking it up at the grocery store. We got some cream cheese. It's just cheaper this way. Lemonade, we did the strawberry lemonade this time. It tastes super good. I love that as like a nice little treat. I drink a ton of water, so to have a little sweet treat sometimes is nice. Um, Lactose-free milk for Angel. Parmesan cheese. I use this for like a ton of recipes. Cinnamon rolls. <laughs> These are actually like the best cinnamon rolls I've ever had other than like the Cinnabon cinnamon rolls. So these are pretty nice. I like to have this for breakfast every once in a while. It's like a nice treat. Picked up this ready-made salad. It was really cheap, I feel like, because the like a pack of just regular lettuce salad here is like five dollars at the grocery store six dollars sometimes this one has a lot more salad in it for seven bucks i thought that was good and then we did this five cheese tortellini i love to make different pasta recipes using this tortellini as the base crinkle cut fries um i usually just make my fries from scratch like just regular potatoes but I figured I'd pick these up because we purchased a deep freezer um, and we have the space for things like this to just kind of help on a pinch. There's This is not going to be like the most healthy haul as you can tell. But right now I'm really just trying to simplify things and make quick little dinners with stuff. So that's kind of what we've got going on. Um, chicken sausage, ground turkey. I will open up these packs of me and like um put them in ziploc bags and freeze it so that way i don't have to defrost like this giant thing of ground turkey um when i really only would use up like about half of a pack each time so i'll open this stuff up and put it in individual packages and then throw it in the deep freezer we got some chicken breast this is how much chicken breast cost out here um hash browns love hash browns for breakfast snickers ice cream bars are my absolute favorite dessert so i picked up a pack of those we got um a three pack of bacon i'll just keep um one pack in the refrigerator and when it's empty um i'll grab one from the freezer so i'll, I'll freeze the rest of this and then keep one in the refrigerator we've got some shrimp and then some bread i picked up the everything bagels and then some hot dog buns for tonight's dinner and we did the hawaiian ones because they're really tasty and then we also got some body armors. These are my favorite <sighs> hydrating drinks. I feel like they really do a good job of quenching your thirst whenever they're really ice cold. And some bottled water because we need bottled water. I wasn't big on bottled water back home. I never bought bottled water. We would just filter the water, but um, our filter doesn't fit in the refrigerator and I really like cold water. And whenever I have guests over, <laughs> I don't know why I need to give a disclaimer about the plastic use, but nonetheless. Um, so yeah, that is everything. I'm going to quickly, and I mean quickly, put all this stuff away and then I have to feed Scotty. And hopefully manage to have some time to eat some lunch. It's already 3.15, so probably not.
thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today i am going to end this video here i am entirely too overwhelmed to continue filming for the rest of this day um currently pumping helping a fussy newborn calm down while watching a toddler and making sure he doesn't throw things off the balcony um and uh yeah i still have to put the groceries away i ended up just shoving everything in the deep freezer for now because it's that time of day when everyone is just acting wild and um i just need to make it to bedtime but i also need to cook so I'm trying to figure all that out i'm gonna throw that chili in the oven as soon as i'm done pumping <laughs> and uh we'll see how I manage for the rest of this day uh, wish me luck thank you guys again for watching another video and I will catch you guys on the next one